Hey guys, Kakarot 197 again. This time we're unboxing the of the 1/505th scale high grade mechanics dendrobium from the 0083 OVA series. And this model kit was given to me by Area 7 Pro, so a big thanks for that. And when we have a look at the box art, it really puts the mechanics in mechanics because in the background we have like a nice layout of our dendrobium. And in typical old high grade fashion, in addition to the really nice artwork of the dendrobium, we also have the model kit itself peeking through. And this sticker I'm sure quite a few of my viewers will recognize. So on the sides we just get some more images of the dendrobium fully painted mind you this will be important later on and then we get an overview of all of the gimmicks it has all of those mechanics that it comes with and one thing that i always really appreciate is when the thing comes with an action base or a stand more likely in this case um that actually has the ability to store the spare parts that's just like a small, super convenient thing once you get a few more model kits that you have to store. So let's see what's lurking inside. And the first thing that we're getting is a leaflet about how to make a Gumpla. Again, I think this is something quite a few of my viewers will recognize. And the first runner I'm getting, I can already see a few big things are gonna have to be painted. I believe this has to be entirely gray and these insights will also all have to be painted gray and we are getting a gray runner so we're not off to a great start let's say these are the weapon containers which well those are what they are then we get some more wide parts unsurprisingly and we do seem to be getting two different shades of white. We get kind of a off-white, grayish white for the dendrobium, like the mobile armor. And then the mobile suits that we're getting are more of an actual white. Also, the detailing on these is really good. Like, you can see somewhat of a difference between super modern kits like the real greats with their detail on those small pilot figures but this is definitely no slouch either then moving along with some more parts and i again see another smaller part it has to be painted gray and then finally i can see the main event of the dendrobium that giant cannon and we are, of course, also getting the Gerbera Tetra, so you can impale that thing on that cannon. But yeah, detailing on this thing seems to be pretty nice. It's just the painting that's gonna take a little bit of effort because there's a lot more gray on this thing than we're getting gray in the model kit. As for weapons, we are getting quite a lot of weapons, although we're not getting nearly all of them with the model kit. Like the demolition chain is not included, the large bundled missiles, that large bundled missiles are not included. But at the same time, this is a quite cheap model kit from 2001, so you can't expect to have everything. One thing that would have been cool to get was an actual beam saber effect part. A clear one, because if the Neue Zeal is anything to go by, you can use standard beam saber effect parts with these. But hey, at the same time, that does mean that if you have a spare one, you can just go ahead and use that one. Then on the back, we get quite a large portion of information about all of the weapons, some of the backstory, and probably about how the Dendrobium impaled the poor Garbera Tetra even though they were technically supposed to be on the same side. And while I was putting the parts back into the box, I noticed that I will have to withdraw my statement about the beam saver. It takes that typical early 2000s approach of having a dummy beam saver and then just having the active one as one solid piece. And it does look quite small, but I do think it should be possible to drill a hole in there to let it accept a normal beam saber blade. So then, all that's left to do now is to go ahead and build this thing, and to be honest, I'm just expecting it to be a nice, solid figurine of the Dendrobium 
that's not going to wow me in any ways, but it'll be more than adequate for people who want a dendrobium and don't necessarily have the money to spend on the giant 1144th scale, or you just want something to be in scale with the Noizil and the Valvaro. And to end this video, I'm just gonna say that I really want Bandai to bring back the high-grade mechanics line. There are just so many mobile armors out there that would be way too expensive as a 1-144th scale, but would be perfect as a 1-505th scale. Think about something like the Big Zam, the Brabro, the Shamblo, or even things from alternate universes like the Destroyed Gundam, the Gels Gay, and so on. But hey, that's all for this video on this model kit that was given to me by Area 7 Pro. So a big thanks for that. And as always, a big thank you to the Patreon supporters. I hope all of you watching have a great day and I'll see you all tomorrow with a review of this thing.